Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. I've got the kids over here having their breakfast today. Freddie's having her breakfast. Jackson's eating his breakfast. This guy's going to town on his yogurt. He just finished having like a whole banana, which is like his favorite thing on earth. He's watching Mickey Mouse, like a Christmas Mickey Mouse, so that's why he is fixated on that. Ooh, yummy yogurt. Anyway, the snow has pretty much started to melt. There's only a little bit of like melted ice left, and then if you see the grass, like you see it's all starting to fade away. So we were really happy to have those couple of snow days here, but now I'm ready for it to be gone. I filmed that one snow day for you guys, but then after that, I think like a couple days later, it snowed again. So Riley and I got to go play outside for like a second time. So we definitely got our snow fix, and now I want the roads just to be clear. So I wanna go to Target this weekend, and I don't want anything stopping me from that Target trip. But yeah, I have a lot of really exciting things to update you guys on today. We're just gonna be chilling at home, obviously doing nothing. But it's been a really fun week around here, and I wanted just to like tell you guys what's going on. First though, I need to do the most annoying task. Like if this is not mom life, I don't know what else is. Riley yesterday was playing with stickers. And now they're on my chair. And these stickers, these stickers are a pain in the butt and they really don't come off easily. Like some stickers, I could just peel this off, but not these stickers. So instead of going crazy trying no. to take these off. No, you can't. I'm about to do this. No, I'll fix here with the stickers. Well, I have to remove them, okay? Oh, well, well, you're gonna have to go eat your breakfast. You can't take off the stickers. Okay. Let you leave them on. I know, but we're gonna put them somewhere else where they belong because they're not happy here on this chair because like everybody sits on them. That's not that's not nice. That is nice. Okay. Can can you go eat your breakfast? So anyway, um, instead of trying to peel them off, I'm gonna use the blow dryer. A lot of you guys had told me that if I put heat on it, like something about like I guess the heat melts away the adhesive or something. So we're gonna try that and see if that makes it easier to come off. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I will let you know. Let's see. We're gonna give it a try. I've never done this before. Usually I like try to go the goo gone route and try to get it off like that, but let's see. And there we go. I am shocked that freaking worked. So if you ever find yourself in a position where there's stickers in an annoying place and you can't get them off, try that. Try. Oh, she's. And I burned my finger off. You burned your finger off? Joe is here helping me. But that definitely worked. So now there are no more stickers on this chair. Stop, Mama. Did you go eat your breakfast? No, stop. Getting the stickers away. What's that? It's all right. We'll make some more stickers later. Just not on the chair, okay? Only on the paper. Okay. And it's not even 10 o'clock. Already with the spilled milk cup. Love it. So anyway, while they're content there for a second, the most exciting thing that happened here this past week is Jackson took his first step. So I'm gonna include some footage here so you guys can see. I was so just proud of him and happy and it made me a little bit emotional because you know, I remember like watching Riley take her first steps two years ago. So he finally did it. He is walking or he took his first steps. Now it's like practicing because you know, he still decides that he wants to crawl, but baby boy can do it. And we're gonna work on it today. So hopefully I can get some more footage of him walking, but he did it and he is a little bit shy of 14 months. So on the 10th of February, he'll be 14 months. And he did this a couple days ago. And Riley, I think when she started walking, she was 15 months. So he beat her in that respect in terms of like how quick quickly uh, he decided to walk. Riley was a late walker, but at this time, like she was way more verbal than Jackson is now. But anyway, here you go so you guys can see Jackson walking. Go, go, this way. Good morning, Dada. Are you so happy that Jackson is walking? Yes. Does it make you so proud of him? It does. What are you what are you doing? Going down to the basement. For what reason? Check on mouse traps. Oh, excellent. Have fun. Don't tell me if there's a little mouse. Don't make me sad. I'm gonna try to make myself a cup of coffee now and do my devotional, but I don't think I've shown you the tabs that I got for my Bible. I think I showed you when they came in, but I finally put them on the side of my Bible, so now it's easy for me to find like the different books. Tell me that's not a pretty Bible, okay? Like I love how it looks and now it just makes looking through it and finding the different stuff that I'm trying to read so much easier. So love me those. You guys, yesterday I finished organizing the downstairs basement, like pantry and the freezer and all of that. 
So today I get to chill and relax and do nothing because that was like a huge project that I've been working on. I've been working on it like during the kids' naps and stuff. And now it is done and now I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I haven't put it up yet like when I'm filming this. I'm not sure if you guys have already seen it or not, but I'm really happy that it's done now. Now I know what I have in my house to work with and what I can reach for when I'm trying to cook and all of that. So I think I've earned myself a very chill kind of do nothing kind of day. Right, Dada? Yes, we've earned that. I have earned that. I did the freezer and the pantry downstairs. I cleaned the house. Well, yes, you did clean the house. Yes, you did. But you can relax a little bit today, too. Super random, I've been using this white chocolate mocha creamer from Aldi. Was this one from Aldi? Yeah, it's Friendly Farm, so it's from Aldi. Really good. Even Joe likes it, and normally he has his coffee black. So, if he's drinking the creamer, I mean, this is really good. Excuse me! Freaking rude! Yes, you yesterday I didn't get... To... I'm well, scaring Dad, I was trying to scare Mama. But yeah, yesterday Joe made coffee and I didn't get around to it. So today, this is happening. I have my coffee. This little dude takes forever to eat. And I know that a lot of it probably has to do with the fact that he's watching the iPad. But he just takes his sweet time and savors his food. So sometimes I just gotta like help him, hurry him along, remind him to pick up his spoon. But he's been liking his yogurt and I mix peanut butter in there. So that's something I'll do when I give him yogurt. I'll put like almond butter or peanut butter just to make it a little bit more fatty. You like Mickey? Mm. So today my breakfast is a pop tart. That's what I've decided to make today. Some days I make eggs, some days I make avocado toast, other days I make a freaking pop tart and you know what? It's gonna be delicious. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram then you guys have missed the um the whole review on Bridgerton. I finished watching Bridgerton and I shared my thoughts on it there. You know, I didn't didn't love the roller coaster of emotions throughout the entire season. It was a good show. Like, you know, it was good. It had its good parts, but I was thoroughly annoyed with a lot of the characters the entire time I wanted to punch him in the face because I was like, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? But I asked you guys over there like what we should watch next or like what, you know, I should try to add to my list of like I don't have a lot of time to watch TV, but on the rare occasion where like I'm alone and I can watch something like in bed, like what can I watch? So a lot of you guys recommended Outlander. So that is what I am watching now. I watched the first episode last night and it was really good. So I'm excited to see, you know, how the rest of the season is. A lot of you guys did tell me that it's very violent. So like warning, if you decide to watch it, you know, kind of either do your own research or know that there's some violence, a lot of um, stuff that's not very good, but that is my new show. So I think there's like five or six seasons of it Like there's plenty for me to binge watch So I'm gonna watch that and then Joe and I still have to finish watching bling empire. We've been watching hell's kitchen What else have you been watching? What else have you been watching babe? Oh, we finished uh, the season of Night Day Fiance that we were watching so now we have like another one to watch because like there's always new seasons coming out and I think that's it like we're waiting for Walking Dead to come back I'm waiting for you to come back which I love also Handmaid's Tale like there's some good shows that are coming up soon but they're not out yet but yeah that's like a little update on my TV watching okay I think Jackson is done with his yogurt like what why 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 hey little dude Let's clean you up. I know this is not your favorite thing. Oh, okay. All right. You're not in the mood today for this kind of stuff? All right. I've got to clean you because you're a mess. How do you say mama? How do you say mama? Oh, dear. Under your chin? Really? It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you for cooperating. Really appreciate it. All right, let's get you dressed, little buddy. I know. I know. I know. We're gonna put clothes on you today. Wow, this is a new thing. Yeah. Look, this is called a shirt. Yeah. Now let's put on your cute little curls. It's okay. You're just pants. Actually did much better than I thought you would. I say mama. 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 Wait, your your little arm has to go through. Yeah, I didn't really mind him getting dirty <laughs> right now with breakfast because I knew that I wanted to dress him. I wanted to dress him and get him out of his PJ so he could practice walking more today and have his feet like on the floor. So he's got his little overalls on. Let's see if he can do some walking today. What are you looking for? The Peppas? He likes the big Peppa car. 
He thinks it's a bus. We got a good official mama too. Like he started saying mama. So now he's been a little bit more vocal in that sense. But this little dude has had the biggest temper lately. And it has been so crazy to deal with because I don't remember Riley having this bad of a temper when she was one. I've also been working with him on his flashcards. So I've got these flashcards. I've got these that are like super old from when I had Riley. These are some love every ones that came with one of the kits. But these flashcards I'll link for you guys because you've been asking me about them. I love them. And what's nice about them is that they're like touch and feel, you know, like they have stuff that they can touch. So this is a ball. Ball. That's a fish. See, and the cat has like the fur. So I used to do these a lot with Riley. So I've been trying to take a little bit of time every day to work with him on these. Even though it's a lot harder now with two kids, I'm not going to lie. His favorite one is so funny. His favorite one is this one, the banana. <gasps> What's that? Banana. Banana. I feel like when I had Riley, like Riley was my only focus. So I was able to spend a lot more time with Riley doing flashcards, doing puzzles, doing more educational stuff. And now that I have the two kids, it is a lot harder. Like I'd be lying if I said it wasn't harder to do more of that, like learning stuff with him. Obviously I have to still make it a priority, but it is harder when I'm trying to juggle both of them and everything else you know, with not having the help here anymore. So I'm doing the best that I can to like help him with his speech and you know, help him to learn some things. And you know, I am trying to like also like not compare the two of them, like even though it's hard to do that. But you know, Riley also is a girl, he's a boy. Typically girls develop their speech better and faster than boys do. And boys are more like motor and they develop their motor skills faster than girls. But there are differences. Like Riley was saying a ton of stuff at 15 months. I think the video that I filmed about like the stuff that I teach her, you know, to talk and stuff, she was saying a whole bunch of stuff at 15 months. And he really says, mama, dada, um, he'll say I think banana now he's starting to say and leche for his milk He also has like a specific sound that he makes but he will do things like that show me that he understands stuff Not so much talks like if we sing the if you're happy and you know it clap your hand song He claps his hand if I tell him to give me a kiss he blows a kiss So there's certain actions that he'll do but he's definitely not as talkative as his sister Jackson That's a car That's so cool yeah, fire truck. I'm just over here trying to finish my pop tart. And this guy's trying to steal all my food. He's so cute. He does the cutest thing now. Like anytime that he sees food and he wants to eat, he puts his finger in his mouth and he goes, mmm. That's my coffee. No, 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 no. That's my coffee. Can I help you? What do you want? Do you want that? Do you want some of that? <laughs> really? Let's practice walking. Where are we going? Come on, don't be a lazy butt. You can get it. You can get it. No! Stand up! <laughs> he's like, give me my butt! Yeah, we'll keep practicing, but I know that he's gonna be like super stubborn, and now anytime that I'm trying to get him on camera, he's not gonna walk. You can get it. What are you watching? Mm, assistant. An assistant? What about the assistant? What does the assistant do? The, opening eggs. the assistant opens the eggs? Yeah. And what's inside the eggs? A ring pop. A ring pop? Yeah. Oh wow, that sounds like a lot of fun. What else do you like to watch? Baby shark. Baby shark? <laughs> This movie that is Elmo. You like Elmo? Yeah. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna play. We're gonna play? Oh, what are we gonna play? But we're gonna play this part. But we need sour patch. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna play with Peppa's? Yeah. But I need to get some sour patch. Why eat all my breakfast? That's not the rule. The rule is you eat your breakfast. Well, I guess I'm candy. That's the rule. That's the question. Um, I'll give you a treat. 
if you finish eating your breakfast. I like sour patch. I, I know, but sometimes we can't have sour patch, okay? Okay. Send help, <laughs> that is my child. She's actually been doing so, so good in the sense that, um, like, she hasn't been having a lot of candy lately, which you just heard her ask for candy, but in the past, I would be like, all right, if you finish eating your food, you can have a Pez or you can have sour candy or like I would bribe her with all of the things. And I told you guys that my goal for this year was to stop that or to limit that. So I have been um, just kind of scaling back on that, only taking out the CANDY for like super special occasions or if she does something amazing. So I am very proud of myself that I have stuck to that. But what I have been doing is I'll tell her that she can have like a treat sometimes. Like if she insists, I'll tell her that she can have a treat. And this is something that I'll show you like what the treat is. This is a company that they came to me about possibly like collabing with me and I haven't even said yes yet. I haven't even told them whether or not I'm gonna do a video for them. I haven't signed a contract, but this stuff has actually worked and has helped. These are the schoolyard snacks and maybe you've seen them, maybe you haven't. They are very expensive, I'll tell you that. Like it's like probably a dollar for each of these bags, but they are great and they work awesome because there's these like chocolate puffs and then there's these that are like peanut butter puffs and this has been Riley's treat on those special occasions and there's like no sugar in here, sugar free and they're just super healthy. They have protein in them. I was like shocked because they're really tasty and that's a way that I can give her like a special treat without it being sugary or bad for you. They kind of taste like cocoa puffs and then the peanut butter ones taste like, I don't know if you remember like the Reese's cups, like the Reese's cereal. That's kind of what they taste like but they're super healthy. I will tell you that they did have the um, like Cheeto ones and the Cheeto ones I did not like so I don't recommend those. You might see a sponsored video soon with them or you might not, I haven't even decided yet. I haven't, like I said, I haven't worked out all the details, but genuinely we really do like those um, those two flavors, the little chocolate balls and the little peanut butter balls. So that has been Riley's treat in place of candy and it's worked out really good. What you doing, little man? Just playing in the kitchen? Excellent. What's that? That's a banana. Banana. Yummy. By the way, Riley got the cutest little subscription box in the other day. I filmed her opening it, so I'm gonna include the footage here. But it was the cutest little like princess play dress up box, whatever. It came with like some bows. And the one that she has in her hair now also came in that box, but she also got this wand. So I filmed it for you guys so you could see her opening it. The owner of the shop had asked me if she could send me uh, just a box for Riley, and I said sure, because I thought it was so cute. And it was like a cute, like mom owned little business. So I'm not getting paid, I don't have like affiliate code or anything like that but the box was super cute so i'll link it down below in the description box and also i think she may have given me like a discount code for you guys so i'll have that in the description box too but look how cute it was <laughs> you ready for your surprise yeah so this is her ridey hold on i gotta take a picture of you open it up all right you gonna open it yeah i gonna open it you gonna open it Bows, little wand, a tiara. Tell me that's not cute. Ow. Do you love it? Yes, yes, I love it. Do you want to put one of these in your hair? Do you want yeah. to put this one? And then look, this is a necklace. It's a tiara. Oh, sorry. Oh, oopsie. Oopsie. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want to wear your beautiful look? It's an Elsa necklace. Let me see you. <laughs> you look so cute. Say thank you. Thank you. All right, so Riley's done with her breakfast and now she's eating her treats. But it's been pretty quiet. He's been pretty content. And now that they are around each other, this is what is going to begin. Like just nonstop unhappiness. And it's just been my life lately. She tries to give him love. He's trying to eat her snack. What's that? Like she'll sometimes try to be nice to him and then he doesn't want to have it. Oh, come on, you guys have to be nice to each other. If you're a mom and you have more than one child, like 
please let me know that it's not just me. Like, it's non-stop fighting. And like, that's that they're not even playing with toys. He's just like unhappy when she's got something that he wants, vice versa. And I guess he's gotten so used to the fact that sometimes like she's mean to him. So he just like wants nothing to do with her. Then she doesn't want him playing with her toys. And it's just a hot mess all day long. Like yesterday, I almost like just freaking like ran out the front door and like didn't come back for a few hours because I had had it. It was just this all day long, all day long. Riley, are we gonna play nicely? Oh, that's so sweet. I like it when you're nice to Jackson. Oh, dear Lord. So this little dude was just crying his head off right now because I think Riley just looked at him and he didn't like that. But I can always count on his little pirate ship to make him happy. <laughs> Do you like that? Riley wasn't even doing anything mean to you. You're just so sensitive. All right, it is almost time for his nap. So like, I don't know, eight more minutes till his nap and then I'm gonna take him up and then we're gonna do some activities with Riley. Okay, Jackson's down for his nap, but he is not very happy. So you might hear him in the background. Riley says she wants to brush her teeth, so the bathroom to brush her teeth so you guys can see she's been using the potty with like these over the toilet um things i told you guys that that was like the next step of potty training and she's been doing a great job with that do you want to tell everybody how you brush your teeth how do you do it what's the first step two paste you gotta use toothpaste mm -hmm. then what do you do after oh no you're all holding green brush my teeth We are gonna go um, downstairs in just a second, but what I've been doing every morning lately for like the last couple days is I've been coming here to my computer to print out some little activity pages for Riley to do. I told you guys on Instagram, my sister has a teachers pay teachers account. My sister, the one that just got married, she's a speech therapist. So she put together the cutest little Valentine's Day activity book for Riley. So she has it on her store. I'll link it down below for you guys, but it's like 49 different pages of like activities to do. I'll show you guys here but i haven't been printing out like the whole thing at once i've been printing out like the pages i want to do with riley every day so this is what the pack looks like and it's like a pdf you download it and then you can print whichever pages you want but we've already done like these where we like painted certain categories we did that one i think yesterday or the day before and then she also gives you like ideas of like how to walk your little kids through like the different activities so that's really helpful so i'm trying to see which ones i need to do we did this one the other day and i was like shocked that riley could do it it was like trying to get her to match different things like the paw print goes with the little 
pug over here. I think that's a pug. And then yesterday we did this one, the counting, where she had to count this, like the hearts that are over here and then match it with the number on this side. We did these. This one is cute too. Like you can get like those little heart candies that you can find at the store and then you put them in the jar and they have to count how many are in the jar. Like not because it's my sister, but this is like a super cute little activity pack. So I'm very happy to share with you guys. So these are the ones that I'm gonna work with um, her on today. So we've been practicing like capital letters with lowercase letters. So they have to like draw a line to the ones that match. So we'll do a couple pages of that. And then the one that I'm printing down here, there's two that are like this. So this is which one is different. So she has to circle which one of the things is different. So I think that'll be something good that we can work on. We're gonna go downstairs. Do you like your activity? Yeah. We're gonna go downstairs and work on these, okay? I've been doing this for like a week, doing like little pages from activity books. So like this is the one obviously that my sister made, but I also have like a pre-K book that's like for ages three to five. So now that Riley is three, I feel like now is a good time that I can like sit her down with a pencil and like we spend a good at least 15 minutes a day working on something together. And now I feel like she has the attention span more where she listens to me, where she can follow directions. So I'm trying to work with her on that so that, you know, when she starts official school or homeschool or whatever it is that we do, this isn't like a totally new concept for her. And she's been doing great. So I'm very, very proud of her. All right, so you see now I bring her little caddy out and it's got like the pencils, the colored pencils and stuff. And then we start working on our pages for the day. So we're gonna start, we'll start with these and then we'll do the letters. All right, little miss, are you ready to do your pages? Yeah. Okay, so look at mama. So this one, you're gonna try to figure out which one of these little insects is different. Okay, so do you see any that are a little bit different? Which one is different of all those insects? Which one is different? No, that one's not different. This one is a white body, and this one is a white body, and this one is a white body, and this one has stripes. So the one that's different is the one that has the stripes, right? Yeah. So you can circle him. See, that one is different. Good job. So which one of all of these looks a little bit different? Yeah, good job. Great, and now let's look at these pigs. Let's look at the pig's bodies. We have, this one is a heart that is white, this one is a heart that is white, this one is a heart that is white, and this heart has stripes. So which one is different? <laughs> Good job. All right, so let's look at these hearts. Which one is different? of all these hearts. <laughs> yeah, good job. I'll circle all of them. But let's circle the one that's different first. So now we're gonna do this page, and this is about matching the letters. So you have the big letters on this side, and you have the little letters on this side. So we have to draw a line from the big letter to the little letter. So this is a big, mm. where is the little M? We have to draw a line to the little M. Good job. Now let's do E. Let's draw a line to the little E. <laughs> Good job. Now this is a A. K. K. We got to draw a line to the little K. Good job. And this is a W. We got to draw a line to a W. <laughs> good job! Excellent! So you see, I just think it's so good for us to spend a little time doing that kind of stuff. She gets excited about it and like there's some things that are a little bit over her head, like the different situation there. That's something that she didn't really know too much about, so she's not going to get them all right the first time and that's fine and that's why we go practicing it. The letters she has a little bit more experience with, so this is good for her to work on the uppercase and the lowercase, but with time they start picking up concepts and like I said they're not gonna get it the first time around but the more that you practice the better that they get at it so look at her she's all excited to be working on the letters that one is not right no that is a big J and it goes for the little J good job and that is a B and it goes with a little B which one is a little B Good job. And this is also good for her to practice like 
picking up a pencil and working on lines because that's something that she didn't have a lot of practice with like she would color and stuff but not like make lines so now she's working on that like motor skill of her like drawing lines and the other day we were doing something that was like tracing lines which was good so this is just how i'm trying to keep her entertained and learning some things so this is this is good for her all right so we have moved on to the crayola mess free stuff so i brought out a paper for her to color and she says that i have to do it so that's usually what happens if i stick around long enough she's like no mama you do it so i am here coloring a forky no you can't you have to i can't what you have to paint the face oh and then she bosses me around tells me what color i have to use and what i have to paint so she might as well do it herself because she let me do it You look like a what? Clown. Like a clown? You don't look like a clown. Yeah, you look beautiful. I look like a clown with that nose. Oh, because the recording button has like a red circle and it's on her nose. You're funny. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. Am I going to paint this or what? Forky always like... Do you want me to paint Forky this color? <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. Because isn't he white because he's a fork? Light blue is that light blue? Is it light blue? This is dark blue. Yeah? What's your favorite color? Um, dark blue. Dark blue is your favorite color? Yeah, I think. You think? What about pink? Do you like pink? No, I like dark blue and pink. Oh, you like them both? Yeah. Okay, I like them both. Ready, do you want a color? I don't. I like to paint with me. Do you like to paint with me? So you want to like take turns here? You want to like maybe you do it sometimes, I do it sometimes. <laughs> she also stole my necklace by the way. She's wearing that sparkly necklace because she insisted on stealing my jewelry today. What I really need to be doing is I brought my laptop over here. I've got to fill out some paperwork because Riley is going to the dentist next week. Are you going to the dentist next week? Yeah. How are you going to do at the dentist? Show me. Are you going to open up your mouth? Very nice and wide. Yeah. So I have to go online and fill out some like new patient paperwork. I'm hoping that it's not a total failure. Hey, you don't don't paint there. I take that off. Why? Because we don't paint this table. All right, I was able to fill out Riley's paperwork, so that is done. That appointment is next week. So like I said, wish me luck because I don't know how that's gonna go. Jackson did finally go to sleep, so I'm gonna go up here to get Riley's laundry because I have to throw that downstairs to wash. Never ending. All right, and now, since I have a few more minutes till Jackson wakes up from his nap, I'm gonna work on my newsletter, which I've told you guys about on Instagram. I told you guys about it on Instagram and in my goals video, but yes, I'm gonna officially put out my first newsletter. So if you guys wanna get on my newsletter and you haven't subscribed already, in the description box in this video, there's a little thing that says like, join my newsletter here. So you click on the link and you're gonna be taken to a field where you put your email. So that way you're on the newsletter list. And then you have to check your email inbox, go to your spam folder if you don't see it because there's something you have to do to like confirm your subscription and then you guys will get my first newsletter once i put it out i think i'm gonna put my first one out this weekend so you guys might miss the first newsletter if you haven't signed up prior to watching this right now but i'm thinking that every week or every two weeks i'll have the newsletter out and it's just gonna be away oh my god riley singing in the background but it's just gonna be a way for me to like send you guys like what you missed that week any like links that were like really popular that week sales that i find and then like a little note i'm gonna like focus on like every newsletter having like a little note to you guys about something that was going on that week or something that the kids were doing so that's my new little project so i'm gonna sit here and work on it for a second since she's singing back there and jackson is asleep but yeah i would love for you guys to join and that way you know if youtube ever goes away or something i still have a way to communicate with you guys and i can still send you my thoughts and you can still chat with me so that's what's going on with the newsletter it is happening here look i'll give you a little sneak peek since um you guys may have missed the first one this is not final yet and i haven't sent it out yet but this is what the newsletter is gonna look like i'm gonna have like little notes to you guys and then kind of talk about what was going on that week i'm sharing in the first newsletter that book that i told you guys about that i really loved and then you'll see like the different um you know like the different videos and stuff that i put out that week and then you'll have links to my amazon storefront the like to know it link so that's what i've got so far and i'm gonna finalize that now hopefully all right look who woke up from his nap i am so excited because we're gonna watch anastasia on disney plus 
I had no idea that that movie was like even really a Disney movie or that it was on Disney Plus and that was my favorite movie when I was younger I had such a crush on Dimitri like that was like my childhood crush so we're gonna watch we're gonna watch Anastasia and it's gonna be a good day little dude I don't want to watch anything Riley's in a mood back there she doesn't want to watch anything but I don't care we're gonna watch Anastasia and then we'll get lunch for these guys and then I have to clean up this mess look at this it's already a disaster <laughs> all right Jackson has no chill he can't wait for his food so I gave him some tuna that I had made on his little teething crackers and then this is sliced up like chopped up mozzarella cheese like a string cheese that I chopped up and then he's got blueberries so that's gonna be his lunch for today and he's gonna be very happy at least with these two things I don't know how he's gonna feel about the tuna but hopefully he will eat that all right so lunch is over Riley wants to tell a spooky story Let's see, how does it go? Stormy night. Shooting star go away. But the shooting star go away, right? The and shooting star went away? Yeah, to its home. When are we going to see the shooting star? At the night, I think. But I'm going to get to my chair. And I'm sitting down. And then I hear a noise outside. And it was a shooting star. Wow. And the orange green. Hmm. Also, uh, check out my granddaughter there. She's very asleep. Oh, that's very nice. Is that your baby? Yeah. But we need to tell spooky stories. Okay, once upon a time, there was a girl named Riley. No, no, no. <laughs> the stormy night. Oh, okay. It was a stormy night and help me out people, I don't know. The snoony, the snoony star go away. That was a spooky story? Yeah. All right. Well, that was a very thrilling spooky story. No, we need to do the rest of the spooky stories. Oh, dear Lord, help me. Meanwhile, check out Jackson just happily building a little magnet tile tower this is my life you guys and i'm not sad about it not in the slightest i suck at coming up with stories but i will have to work on my storytelling skills but it's been a pretty good day they haven't uh, been tormenting each other too much i have riley's laundry finishing up in the uh laundry room downstairs and the rest of the day is just chill once i can get them down for their nap i'm going to maybe watch another episode of outlander I'm and no okay. complaints here i'm gonna cook dinner later though so i I'll work on that to watch later. movies what Movies. What movies do you like to watch? I like the bat, that's a little like the little bat from Anastasia. Yeah, that's a great movie. I like to watch that movie. Okay, we can watch it. Okay. And Jackson, Mama, Dada, and Ryan. Excellent. What is Dada doing right now? He's doing some work. He's doing some work. Why he come back here and she can watch? Oh, this things. But you have to tell spooky stories for Okay. We'll tell some stories. This is the current situation, my friends. This is what's going on. Watching that scary dude on Anastasia. Jackson, you want to come walking? He has this fascination with this bus, I swear. But he was like two seconds ago having a fit because it wasn't staying where he wanted it to stay. Yoda is down. Poor Yoda. We've also got Kermit. Kermit is down. Mrs. Piggy is down. These poor people. Let's put you guys away. Let's make you happier in the basket. There you go. Out of harm's way. Jackson, do you want to try to walk maybe? You want to try? The bad guy singing a song? This is the part of the day when I just start to get fried because I'm like waiting, counting down the minutes for them to take their nap because I see mess, I see disaster. Like luckily I cleaned off the table here for lunch but normally there's like a disaster from lunch and I'm just over it and done. So I'm gonna hang out with these children for a little while longer until nap time and then I'm just going to relax the rest of the day. So I am gonna end the vlog here so I can go do that. If I get any clips of Jackson walking, I'll include them afterwards but I'm not holding my breath. But yes, thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I need to talk. What do you need to talk? I always love I like to see a shooting star when I wake up. When you wake up from your nap? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. We'll try to look for one later, okay? But we had to look for one slide at night. At night time. Okay, can you say goodbye to the vlog? Say bye, friends. Bye, friends. Yes, we love you guys. Thank you for being here. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Here's your bowl. Here's your bowl. And here's your bowl. Come to mom. Okay.